Welcome, welcome, welcome to another video. And in this video, we will talk about a question I get a lot. Will my course sell? You know what? I'll be a billionaire if I could tell you for sure if your course is gonna sell or not. But you know what? I'm pretty close. I'm pretty close. After launching dozens of courses, working with many, many experts, I have learned a few things about making money with online courses. So here's the truth. The closer you are to money, the more likely you will be to be successfully financially. Here's why. Actually, I'm gonna give you an example. There are so many courses on Facebook advertising. I can probably say just up in my head like 10 different experts who created a course on Facebook advertising, but they all are successful. Most of them are successful. Why? The answer is very simple. Because the person, when they watch the sales video, or go to sales page, they think this. This is what's going through their mind. They think, you know what? $1,000 for this course that potentially can help me generate you know, six figures, seven figures, they look at that as an investment instead of as an expense. So the courses that do the best are the ones who help people make money. It's just the truth. Because they look at that invest, uh, that expense as investment instead of expense. They will put in a credit card, they'll borrow, they'll steal, I don't know what they need to do, they'll do whatever it takes to buy that course because the need is so big. The next two topics that sell really well is health and love. Money, maybe it's a little bit sad, but it's at the top. Then it comes health and love. Not quite sure which one comes first, but they're about the same. Because there are so many people out there who want to find love, right? They will do anything to find love. And there are people who are completely out of shape, they are unhealthy, and they will pay whatever they need to pay to be healthier. And the last thing that I would say is anything around productivity. Those are the four things that sell the best. Again, let's review anything related to money, then would be health and love, and then the last one, productivity. So if you are one of those categories, you are more likely to succeed. However, however, I don't wanna discourage you because there are some courses that have been so, 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 so many topics that have been completely shocked everyone. There's a course, I can't remember the expert's name, he's in India, he created a course on Excel spreadsheets. He basically teach you how to be excellent at Excel spreadsheets. He designed templates for you so you can just take those templates and implement immediately. And he became very, very successful, million dollars, over a million dollars a year. Then there's a woman who was the best, she was really good at knitting. Now you think knitting, pff, who wants to learn how to knit? My wife actually recently bought a course on knitting, how to, not knitting, but crochet, how to crochet. So no, there are lots of unique niche topics that you might be so good at it, and maybe there are only a few experts doing it, you might become successful. So will your course sell? There's no guarantee that it will sell. I'll give you one last tip how you can research if it's gonna sell. Go on Amazon and research books on your topic. Are there books out there? And are they getting a lot of views? If they have a lot of views, that means a lot of people bought them. Because if you look at the ratio, usually about 5% of purchasers actually leave reviews. So if you have 1,000 reviews, that's 5% that's time standing, there's at least 20,000 people bought that book, or actually even more. And you look at the reviews. Are people raving about it? And are people excited about this topic? If they are, maybe it's your time to create an online course on that topic. And also when you create a course on that topic and look at negative reviews and see what they say, what they're complaining about, and maybe you can fix those problems that people complain over and over and over in Amazon reviews. So that's really what I'm gonna say with you, just uh, share with you. There are topics that really uh, sell really well. Again, money-related courses, health, love, and then productivity. But at the same time, also there are a lot of niche courses that do really, really well. So there's no magic bullet, but you're not gonna know until you actually start selling. And the question is like, I always say this, what's the worst case scenario? Let's say you invest $50,000 in an online course. That's like a really, really good course. But let's say you start with one of our lower packages, you would start with a, you know, $15,000. And you invest for $15,000 and you sell it for $1,000. You would need 15, 15 students to break even. So what is the risk? You're never gonna have, know the for sure magic bullet answer, like yes, your course will sell, nobody can tell you that. If they tell you, they're crazy. Nobody can promise you that. You know, they, I don't know your personality, I don't know how knowledgeable you real, really are, I don't know what kind of quality you have created. Obviously, the market is being saturated, your quality has to be the best. You know, that's why even these free videos I created with good quality. Why? Because I want you to see what we can create for you. If somebody watches and video looks complete junk, no one's gonna pay you $1,000. So we make sure that you created the best course possible. So content has to be great, quality has to be great. So 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment below, let me know if you have any questions. I don't have a magic bullet for you, but you can be successful with, again, finance courses, health, love, and productivity, and very, very niche courses. But you're not gonna know until you create and put it out on the marketplace, test it, make some money, tweak it, and release new version, better, and with more value. Thanks so much for watching, I appreciate you, and I'll see you soon.